Okay. Let's get the. This is. Uh, I'm tired too. I ran the game yesterday too. Oh, November twenty ninth. Yeah, you still have a guy. <laughs> November 29th, 2017. We're playing Halloween in Dunwich. Yay. So first we're going to do a little quick recap. Last Christmas... Oh, I got to look at the names. Oh, I Last Christmas... Well, this happened to your characters. Uh, when Every year you go to Great Aunt Norma's in Kingsport for Christmas. And last Christmas, your beautiful cousin uh, Melba... Uh, your beautiful cousin Melba got you out of the house from all the boring crap. And you went off, and you had fun all day, and you did you did sledding, and you went and had hot chocolate and cookies and cake, and then you came home that night. And she said, "We're going to a party," and the party turned out to be in your dreams. She took you into the dreamlands, where you went to a wonderful party, That's and then where all my parties are. And then Krampus has showed up and kidnapped a bunch of kids, kidnapped all of you, and you ended up in uh, like a jail cell. And after some time, you managed to escape. You tricked the Krampus. They weren't very smart. Um, Gordy actually hit one with an axe and hurt it pretty bad. And you found the main Krampus, and it turned out... Oh, and I, I skipped a part here. You also, your cousin, um... Uh, what's his name? Wally Wheaton had come home from Europe. And he had brought his new wife, whose name was Gretchen, very pretty. And she made cookies with you, and you found out that she was really sad because her father disapproved of the wedding. Because he was an American. Uh, Austrian. Austria. She was Austrian. Austria. Yeah. yeah, close, very close. Mm-hmm. So, um, it turned out the king of the Krampus was actually her father. Uh, he was his dream form was that, and he kidnapped you because you smelled like her because you were wearing the gifts she'd gotten you, which were all knitted stuff. Uh, you you kind of broke his heart when you told. Uh, actually, it was mostly it was mostly Gertie and Gordy because these are the two that played that one. They kind of broke his heart because they were like, "Your daughter loves you, and she wants you," and all this really sentimental stuff. And he let me After you told us that. Because I screwed up, I screwed up, and I left out that part of Gretchen's story because it was in the wrong part of the scenario. Anyway, so long story short, he brought you all back to to Cousin Melba's castle in the Dreamlands. You woke up the next morning, it was a wonderful Christmas day, and then Gretchen's father, Gunter von Kohl, shows up uh, out of the blue with presents, and he forgives his daughter, and it's all a very happy ending. And he also gave each one of you a ring. Because he told you he also knew how to do some magic. And he was able to create a portal from Austria to Kingsport. What the fuck? Yeah. So, and that's how he got there, like, the next day, okay, Christmas yeah. morning. Like, so he gave you the rings, and with the rings you can actually, um, uh, if you're in Austria with these rings, it recognizes you as part of his family, so people treat you well. Um, he also fun. showed you where the portal was in Kingsport, so you could go to Austria to visit any time you wanted. But he said, you know, be careful using it, blah, blah, blah. So that's the backstory of Christmas in Kingsport. And that was last Christmas, Christmas 1927. It is now October 1928. Now, for the people from Dunwich, a month and a half ago, something got loose from Noah Watley's house. What does that mean? Uh, you're from Arkham. I'm gonna, I, I've got some special stuff for Innsmouth Girl, too. Because, and where are you from? You're from Kingsport. Um, <laughs> yeah. You're from Innsmouth. So anyway, in Dunwich, uh, the Dunwich Horror got loose. It yeah. burst out of Noah Watley slash Wilbur Watley's house after Wilbur got killed at Miskatonic University trying to rob it. Uh, the thing killed uh, two families, and several state policemen went missing uh, before some professors from Miskatonic University came and dealt with the problem. Um, neither one of you live really close to the area where it happened. You're closer than him. You're from the east side of Dunwich. Um, yeah, east side. West side. You're from kind of central Dunwich. Your house is actually off Round Hill or Round Mountain. Um, sometimes noises come from in there. Uh, yeah, so that's what's happened recently in Dunwich. Innsmouth, in February of this year, your parents, your uh, parents decided to haul up and move away from Innsmouth as quickly as possible. Um, you had indications that it might have been your aunt that told them that, but she's supposed to be dead or gone or something, right? The aunt that gave you the switchblade? Okay. Uh, so you're not sure what's going on there, but you moved to Ipswich, and you found a week later uh, the federal government raided Dunwich and put it under martial law, and it is, like, locked down even now here in October. You're not sure why. You just know that uh, that you guys left quickly. You don't know why, and... A lot of people were arrested there. A lot of people. So, Dunwich is beautiful this time of year. 
with the leaves turning shades of orange and gold. Your family left their automobiles in Dunwich Village, for those of you who came from outside of town, and were being driven by a horse and wagon up to Great Grandpa Silas's farm. You two came to Dunwich Village via your own means, and then you're being taken up to, to Grandpa Silas's farm this way as well. Because the roads in Dunwich are awful. Great Grandpa Silas. Grandpa's the trip was like going back in time to a simpler age. It's a warm day for late October without a cloud in the sky. Today was going to be a wonderful day. It is Wednesday, October 31st. Nobody knew how old great, how old great Grandpa Silas is, but he was old. Really old. Maybe close to 100. That didn't stop a man from working his farm or being more active than men half his age. Great Grandpa Silas is a very fortunate man, well liked by his neighbors, with a prosperous farm, which is a rare thing in Dunwich. Everybody struggles here. And a large family. He's a tough old bird who enjoys simple things in life, good food, a good pipe, and parties. Literally a bird. The only thing Great Grandpa Silas liked more than a good party was Halloween. Yeah. All your lives you had four favorite days of the year. Christmas morning, the last day of school, your own birthday, and Great Grandpa Silas's Halloween party. Oh, hell yeah. The trip to the remote farm was a long one. The roads are poor, but your family wouldn't miss it for the world. So you're here with your parents. All your parents are here as well. Um, oh, and nah. <laughs> um, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. During the day, there'll be loads of activities for the younger family members to enjoy. Apple picking, pumpkin carving, hay rides, case sack races. And after dark, there's a huge feast, followed by lots of desserts. And as the hour grows late, for the, hour grows late the adults will tell ghost stories before retiring for the night. Uh, your families will, then, will leave the next morning. And return home to start looking forward to next year. Um, you arrive at the large house deep in the hills of Dunwich. You cross a little, you cross a bridge from the road onto Uncle Great Grandpa, Great Grandpa Silas's property. Um, the nearest neighbor is almost three miles away, so he's out in the middle. He's up in the northwest corner of Dunwich, and it's out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, there's no way cars would be able to make it down this road. Um, let's see. As the family's gathered in the front yard exchanging greetings, you cousins are seeing each other for the first time in a long time. Gertie and Gordy might see each other a little bit, but it's like once every two or three months, probably at most. And the rest of you never see each other at all during the year, except for when the families get together. Um, uh, Silas comes out of the house. He greets everybody by name. Uh, he's still sharp as a tack. He saves his warmest welcome for his... Six great grand, his six great grandchildren, you five and George. <laughs> Welcome back to the farm. I'm a hoping you're ready for a good time because I've got plenty planned for you to do today. He gives you hugs, rough handshakes, slips each one of you a silver dollar. Cool. Uh, with a wink. Yeah, yeah. That's great, Grandpa. Let's keep this quiet. Don't want oh, to get yeah. money. Oh, I'm gonna stuff yeah. it in my handkerchief. Okay. One. Let's keep this quiet. Don't want my grandchildren to think I'm spoiling you. I did the same one. They were your age. Don't you know? Come on now, round back. I got some cake laid out. Who wants some cold cider? Yes, today is going to be a wonderful day. You look forward to it all year long. There just isn't anything better than Halloween in Germany. We got some. We got some candy apples and cake. We got cookies and we got my, apple cider. My calculations. Those are the. Those are the best. Oh, you're a calculator. I knew that. Oh, I am. I am. Okay. So. so um, me in school. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, okay, so if anybody wants apple cider now, it would be great. You can, but you don't have to. Um, yeah, I've got two gallons of apple cider, and there's cups over here. Everybody can have apple cider. Yeah, everybody, yeah, what you want. So he's giving apple cider out to everybody. Yeah, there's one up in the top, and there's one in the door if you want. Yes, I'll take a glass too, actually, if you don't mind. I don't want any silt in mine, though. So briefly, there's two large buildings on Great Grandpa Silas's land. There's his house, it's a two-story house. There's a big red barn. Um, you guys know there's horse. There's three horses, a cow, uh, a wagon, work area, lots of storm farm tools in the barn. You've been out here before. The house is two stories tall. Uh, there's also a chicken coop, chicken coop, as well as a pen with two pigs and a small pond for a number, with a number of geese. Uh, there's an apple orchard, a cornfield, a barley field, a large pumpkin patch, and then the main hills of Dunwich are up back behind the farm. Is it any good? I have no idea if it's any good. Okay. Um, you guys arrived in the morning. Thank you. Is that for me? Ooh, that is good. I'm glad. It's just Walmart. Um, you guys arrived around 11 a.m. 11.30 a.m. Um, 
There's uh, that's okay. There are tables and chairs outside with food and drink laid out for the adults. Um, around 2 p.m., a band of local magi- musicians arrive and they start performing. Musicians. Musicians, yes. Um, and then around Sunday, the party's going to move inside. But here during the day, there is tons of things to do. Uh, apple picking. Who's ready for some apple picking? Yay! Yeah. They each give it two large baskets to fill. And so it says, one of them for you to take home, and the other for me to keep, because I need to help on the farm picking apples. Uh, you can each make a spot hidden, if you want, uh, or some kind I of intelligence no test. Dice. You're fine. Okay. I'm probably better with no, you your roll for you than, uh, I should have spot bed in there. You can use them to Most of these apples have been picked. There's like a section that has been obviously left unpicked just for you guys to pick. Aww. You notice that. You make spot hidden, you notice that too. One little section has not been picked. The rest of the orchard is clear. Hey, well, 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 gee, Uncle, you didn't leave apples. Grandpa, you didn't leave apples for us to pick all year. You wouldn't, you wouldn't need the help. Uh, no, not at all. You're too clever for your own good, little man. That's what everyone. He like ruffles your hair. Get out there and help them pick them apples. All right. Uh, so, mm, but don't you think I ain't gonna pay you a good day's wage for the help? Now get the pace and pick it, you lazy youngins. Let's see how long it takes y'all. Hurry up now. When you're done, there'll be a hayride in the, to the pumpkin patch. Scoop! Heck yeah. Um, there you go. You guys can make a... Oh, George is running. He wants... He's like, gonna get it first. And he takes off with his baskets, running to apple trees to pick as fast as he can. Hey, no fear! There doesn't appear to be... It doesn't appear to be a race, but George is turning it into a race. Oh, I'm racing with him. Okay, so... Probably. You get back um, here, George. As a kid, I would have. Yeah. Are you cooking? Is somebody cooking something? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, I didn't know. I smelled something warm, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to Edward warm. and say, there's no point in racing. The baskets are the same size. <laughs> I'm already I'm already You're running too. What about you? Are you gonna well, race? Okay. So well, 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 so, well, some of the apples, some of the apples, they'll get, they'll, they'll get the best apples if they get the, if they get the something best. I like how you stutter too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You give him a hug. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What would be the best way to determine who's the fastest at picking apples? Uh, How about dex checks? Dex times five. Yeah, that's it. Right. And we'll just go basically. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Dex times oh, five. Oh, 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 no. Three. Oh, sh- I go. Whack. Yeah, we're going to do who lowest is the best. We'll do it that way. You really want the best apples. Oh, three? Yep. Damn. Okay, so. Oh, nine. Everybody made it, it. so what are the numbers? O oh, three, O oh, nine. George got fifteen. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Eighteen. 18. 20. Twenty. So Edward is the fastest picking his apples, even though he's the he one. Just walked under the train. Edward's just going for like the biggest, <laughs> juiciest apples. Um, I, I've, I've read a whole year nice? looking at Alice was good apples. <laughs> Alice was he's been last year he did so poorly that this year he's going to he, kick He's bars. working smarter, not harder. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Alice comes next. She's really fast too. Um, she seems to be. Are you using your knife to cut the apples? Heck yeah. <laughs> she has a switchblade. Y'all all know she has a switchblade. Hell yeah. Um, who's next? Uh, George was next. George just is like grabbing every apple. He doesn't care if they're any good or not. He just wants to be the first, and he's still lost. And then uh, Gordon, who had used his farming expertise, I in order to get some of those the other apples. Too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you probably did. Well, you're from the other side of the county, so you're only getting work on this. Okay, okay. It's a long day when you have to work on this farm because it is a long walk. Uh, and then I believe was, and then was, um, then was, what's his name? Donald. Then was Donald. And finally, um, taking her time and not caring, picking the best apple she can is Gertie and enjoying herself. I have to hold you up while I get the apple. Alright, so, uh, Great Grandpa Silas also has another silver dollar for you. When you bring the apples oh. in, and a hug for the girls, and a firm handshake for the boys. Uh, what? Yeah. My handshake is like. They got hugs when they got here. Your handshake. It's wimpy. It's like a wet one. Yeah. Did you bring your axe with you? 
Is it uh, here at the house? I've read my dad's no, books. It'd probably be like laid up on the front door. Okay, so you did. He wouldn't, yeah. he wouldn't want it in the house. Right, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. You can you check the salty. Oh. Well, that's what you do, so that's, that's a good thing. That's not bad. Silver dollars. Oh. Silver dollars. Oh, God bless. Oh, hey. Thank you. They're not silver dollars, but... No, but... Thank you, Grandma. Yeah, these are old-school silver dollars. Those big, big ones. We got moose dollars. Moose dollars. We're in Canada, actually. All right, you guys got the apple picking done. Time for the hayride. Moose. So going with, with great, going, going with great grandpa Silas is Grandpa Saul. What? It is great grandpa Silas's son. Uh, that is uh, Gordon's. That's Gordon's grandpa. So Saul is your grandpa, Gordon. Oh, fuck. Oh, fucking rough. Is that what I'm look like someday? <laughs> Could be. So you're taking uh, like Lisa that. Farm. Going and there's like there's not like a there's not, there's not like a road but there's like there's like a trail that goes through the the through the uh, through the fields. And he is just like an old apple sack. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! That's Grandpa Saul. He's a pumpkin. He's a pumpkin. First check on that. Anyway, um, Solomon. You're not going back out to the road, but what you're doing is you're going through the tracks that lead through his fields and in between the fields and stuff. So you guys see that there's a. Um, they're singing. Um, uh, Grandpa Saul sings a lot, so he leads y'all in a lot of songs. Um, you notice know, a large barley field, and on the way back to the house, you pass the cornfield. The forest is beyond. There's a forest beyond the cornfield, but the, the hills are mostly covered with forest in this area. And um, Great Grandpa Silas points out and says, "That's the haunted forest where witches once gathered for dark rites." Did I ever tell you youngins about it? No. Well, I'll did be telling that one tonight. Did he, did he tell us about it last year? No, no, no. He's not told this story before. I'll be telling that one tonight when we're telling ghost stories by the fire. If you children can stay up that late. Uh, there's scarecrows in both fields, you notice, that are still there. Oh, hey, here we go. Scarecrows. Not creepy at all. <laughs> My costume. It could be. That's why Grandpa. The heads are made with burlap sacks. Gordy, Gordy's planning on sneaking out into the field I, and grabbing. My character <laughs> thinks they're bodies. Alice thinks they're dead bodies hanging from this one, from yeah. the stalk. Yeah. yeah. What a dirty thing. What? What a dirty thing. They like to come to life and dance in the field. But they're made of straw. Not, not dirty bodies. thinks they're lost wizards from another time. <laughs> They seem familiar somehow. Yeah, I'm a paper boy. Where is my character sheet? Where is my character sheet? Scarecrow seems strangely familiar. Alright. We're waiting for you. Alright. Then it's time for pumpkin picking. There's a pumpkin patch over on one side. I'm going to get my axe. I'd make a spot again or an idea check, whichever's higher. You're going to go get your axe. Yeah. Oh, five. I'm not gonna have any good old buddy into this. Eleven. And no. Uh, <laughs> I'm off getting my You're axe. off getting your axe, you don't notice. Everybody got it? I made my idea. Let's see him, George. Uh no, George ain't that bright. Uh you like notice once again it looks like um one third of the field hasn't been harvested. The rest has been harvested, so he's left these pumpkins for y'all. Oh. Um you guys are supposed to uh he tells you you're supposed to she says, Go get a pumpkin. To make jack lanterns, we'll be needing them to scare off the spooks and hobgoblins. They're sure to come tonight. Don't you be forgetting what tonight is now. You'll figure the entire family's in your hands. Now scoop, scoop. You yell bullshit at him. No. Okay. Right. So you guys can go out and get pumpkins. Uh, you notice that Gordon has brought his axe, his wood axe, um, and that he chops one of the vines with. Um, you look like the most twisted one. Okay. <laughs> the most twisted pumpkin? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can find one that's kind of weird shaped. No, I mean, I'll cut something for you if you want, but I'm not going to give oh, it up. Oh, please, no. You got a knife. You don't need that. Text. But this thing is... I'll think about it. Hey, 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 <laughs> hey do, you, do, y'all, do, y'all know, do y'all know that pumpkins are actually fruits and our vegetables? Really? Uh, everybody <laughs> knows that, Eddie. I, I, didn't, I, didn't I didn't know, know that. that. I, didn't know that until I, read it I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I just kind of like. These uh, think they know something about farms. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
So it just gives you a load. Alright. Um, Who gets the biggest pumpkin? I'm going for big. Giant. She's going for weird shape. I'm going for giant. That I can't You're going for down. giant. Okay. For big yeah, George is going for big pump, as big a pump pumpkin as he oh, yeah. can find, too. So you guys find there's a lot of pumpkins left. What about you? What are you looking for? Big old, big old thing. I want, a, I want a little, nice, perfect one. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. The perfect one. Symmetry. I want, like a, I, I want, like, a small one, too, that I could fit in my hand. You can fit in your hand. Yeah. Large, boy. Okay. I want to put... Do you want one you can fit in your hand? In my pocket. No, like, like two like hands. Okay. Oh, yeah. You want to be able to put it in your pocket. Okay. Silas tells you to keep that one, but go get one to carve. No, I know. That's the twisted one I'm looking for. Oh, but, you're getting chill. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can easily get to it, too. Um, you guys, um, okay, and then he gives you knives, big old kitchen knives, to start cutting them, and he gives you spoons to scoop them out, and says, all right, and, and bids you oh, to make wow, the, to make, the time. <laughs> to make great, great jack-o'-lanterns. So, um, everybody needs to do a dex times four. Who has our, any kind of artistic ability? Knife. Okay, you can use one fifth of any artistic ability or knife skill. I should. What? Alice has knife skill, I think, down at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Was sketching actually helping you? Switchblade? Whichever you, yeah, it would help you because you have an idea of what you want something to look like. Yes. So add dex times four, and then add one fifth of any relevant ability with oh, art. Um, everybody will be able to add at least like one point if they want for art. Yeah. Can it? What? Um, yeah, I... Okay, what's your, what's your knife? Uh, 64. 64, so, um, 64 divided by 5 is, uh, 12, we'll say 13. Okay. So, what's, what's your dex times 4? 40. Uh, so 40 plus, what did I say, 13. So, fi- you have a 53% chance. Okay. Now, you, I what's, what's our yeah. Sketching, so that's a 50, so that's 10. Where's your dex? Okay. Dex is 14, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, if you use your calculator, I don't know what 14 times 4 is. Yeah, that's not 14 times 4 is 4 plus 16 is 56. 56. Oh, 66. Oh, 66. Oh, we have a 66% oh, chance, Caitlin. Cool. If I try to make the Hyperborean character, can I add that? I don't know how to fucking make anything with a Yes. I'll allow that. Hyperborean. Like some of the symbols on the, symbols on the, uh, symbols on the stuff. I'm glad in crypto, or I would jack up my pumpkin. It would be a jack up. Okay, so. <laughs> so then. Yeah, so did, so did George. His does not look very Did anybody succeed at this? I made it straight up dicks. One, two. So three of you made really nice looking. Sad part was I was using the axe. <laughs> no, you would use the knife. <laughs> jack so you three. So Edward, Alice, and um, Gordy made really nice looking. What does it look like? What kind of face do you want on it? Looks like this one of those scarecrows on the field. Okay, so a little, happy, a little yeah. happy smiley face. What's Edwards look like? Uh, yeah, he just he just has a happy, a happy little face. A little triangle eyes. It, he tried to make it look like him, so he tried to get it glasses. <laughs> it's a perfectly symmetrical. So it has really big eyes. Yes. Okay. What does yours look like? Oh, uh, mine has real big eyes and real sharp teeth. Okay, sharp teeth. Is it smiling or frowning? Of course, it's smiling. Okay. What about yours? It doesn't look exactly like you're going for, but it will look like something. So, um, so what do you want? Huh? Well, I was trying What's to make Hyperborean part? characters, but like since the pumpkin was twisted, like it looks like ah. lopsided and so like, you're trying I'm to make like, like I'm like it doesn't look like, and everybody's like it doesn't look like anything. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so you're trying to make like runes and yeah, symbols. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like just yeah. random cuts. In yeah. The How about you, Caitlin? What were you going for? Probably a regular old face, maybe a little more intricate. Going that. for a regular face is this horrific thing. How is that more intricate? I don't really know okay. what you've been through. Whatever you want. It's cramps. <laughs> it's a cramps pump. That'd be fun. You know what? Yeah, Gordy's just like, it doesn't but look right, it doesn't look, look right, and it's just like a bunch of like, it's trying random. to be a cramps, but it's not. <coughs> George's is just triangle eyes, a terrible lopsided mouth. And a triangle nose. It's awful. It's a horrible one. He's like, awesome. that's good enough. I don't care. George ain't no artist. Not no pansy. George ain't no artist. And then beat his ass. Now I'm only be half protected. <laughs> um, oh, while you guys were working on your pumpkin, uh, somebody else arrived. Cousin Maureen Thank you. shows up. 
She's got. Um, declare, Mr. She's a beautiful young woman. She has two baskets. Um, she looks like she's around 16. She tells everyone she's cousin Maureen from the other side of the valley. Uh, she has a simple dress and shoes. Baskets have cornbread, apple pie, and two junks, two jugs of fine applejack moonshine. Um, she's obviously part of the family. Oh, she is. She uh, she makes sure to introduce herself while you guys are working on the pumpkins. She's introducing herself to each one of you. Um, Max here. Um, I think she is actually. I had a terrible time finding a good picture for cousin Maureen. Um, she has pale blue eyes. Reminds you of Gertie's eyes. <coughs> same, it's the same kind of pale blue eyes. Um, and she talks to each of you during during this and during the the the. Uh, Taysac race coming up. Um, asking, you know, she gets each one of you alone at least once and is asking, who are you? Where are you from? What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, kind of learns from each one of you. You find out she's from, from here in Dunwich. Oh, I probably see her like every other month. Uh, no, you've never seen her before. But there's a lot of cousins and stuff in Dunwich from far from regions that you don't ever get to meet. We're all cousins. We have the same blue eyes. We do. You're so pretty. You know, it's like that. Um... She says, uh, to each one of them, now, I'm knowing you youngins might be tempted to get into that moonshine. It's mighty strong stuff, and kids your age shouldn't be drinking it no house. You stay clear of it, you hear? And she tells this to each one of you. Um, you see George puff up like, I don't know, when she talks to him, but, um. How old is George? George is 13. Okay. Yeah, he's young too. I'm mischievous because I want to be mischievous. Yeah, cool. As long as it doesn't specifically say you can't do that on the sheet, and I don't think it does. Um, you see, a couple of the adults have tried some of this moonshine, and it's like, oh, oh. it's obviously very strong stuff. And then uh, great grandpa Silas shows up, and he's like, time for the taste sack race. Come on, come on, children. You guys are lined up, and you have to put a, get in a potato sack, and then race a hundred yards. Um, here's what we need. Everybody needs to roll two decks times three rolls. What? Decks times three. Uh-huh. Make two checks on that and oh. two luck rolls. Oh. The one who has the most successes total is the winner. <laughs> Boy, I got a 99. <laughs> <laughs> Jump smash. <laughs> Slow start for Edward. No. And then what after decks? And then two luck checks. No. Keep track of how many you make. Oh, all right. Whoever makes the count? total, no. yeah, yeah, whoever makes the most total is the winner. Uh, Dex, let's see, 12, 36. He did not do well. George did not do well. I right, said so luck checks after that? He mm-hmm. didn't do that. And then two luck two. checks, yeah. Come on, George. Oh, George made one. George made two. Dex checks three. Yeah. Right. Two of those and then two luck checks. And keep track of how many you got. George got two total. Yeah, hey, two double. Two total. One, one, two, two. Holy crap. I got two. Everybody got two? You yeah. lost. Except for except for Edward. He face planted right at the beginning. Yeah. It, you know um, what? Okay. Let's everybody do another dex check. Uh, another luck check. We're gonna we're gonna do elimination my round now, basically. <laughs> my glasses. George is out. Dex check? Yeah, just do no no no, just do another luck check. Oh. Just do straight up luck check. Okay, so you two each do one more luck check. Oh. And whoever gets this is the actual one who comes in first. Okay, one more. If you guys, if you guys both make it this next time, you tie. If you both miss it, you tie. Gertie actually won. You came in second though. I made it very close. Edward was last. Not close at all. Anyway, yeah. Dead last. Um, did you make your? Did you make any of the other luck checks there? Oh no. What? Did you make any of the other luck checks that we? The additional ones after the initials. Okay, so the three of these three. Um. Alice and Gordy and George came in like third yeah. ish, and then you were way behind. Glasses are sideways. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, as each one of you is meeting Cousin Maureen. Uh, I need you to make me a roll. Let's see. Uh, what's your power? Twelve. So, so make me roll, Colin. Or what? Just uh, make me roll. I got a number here. It's on the resistance table. Twenty-four. So you made it. Uh, 
Just okay. Smell. For just a moment, she looks like this. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and there's a smell of, uh, like, rotten bodies. Okay. What's your power? Oh, 15. Where are we 15. At? What the fuck? <laughs> what? Yeah, bro, as I told you. Oh, 15. That's a good one. Okay, go ahead. 71. 71. You're immediately charmed by her. She's so nice. She likes your eyes. She has your eyes. Yeah. It's like, you're her best. You just love her. Okay. What's your power? 11. 11. Gordy knows all. Gordy. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, give me a roll. You're a monster. 57. You are charmed by her, too. She likes your glasses. She listens to your boring ass stuff that you're talking about, like trying to sound smart. I read a book one time about alligators. Okay, she's, <laughs> she's just amazed by that. Okay, she just charms you. What's your power? Fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, make a roll. These are the resist on the resistance uh, stage. Okay, you're charmed by her too. She, uh, she just, she loves your hair. Real cute. She Real just cute. thinks that you, yeah, you two just, you just hit it off. What's yours? Fifteen. Fifteen, damn. Power, right? Yeah, go ahead. That was easy. Look. Look. Yeah, ninety-two. Ninety, you're charmed by her too. She wants to see your pictures. Um, <laughs> she just loves your sketches. She wants you to draw her. She'd like to at some point. You know. Hey, kind of like wait, a if if we're, if well, we're yeah, a good psychology, artist. could we check and see if there's like she's lying about something that way? If there's like, is there something weird going on? Uh, well, we don't suspect that. Yeah, you don't I'm, suspect anything. I know. Right. Suspect. It's just you just. Okay. Well, you just. Okay. Okay. And what if you start to become suspicious? Let me check with George here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. George's power is a over twelve. It's not too bad. What? Yeah, uh, yeah, make me a spot hidden. You're the only one who saw, weren't you? Yeah. You were watching everybody after that. No, no, okay. Uh, you, you, you got, you're not sure. You're not sure if George is trying by her or if he's like. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. <laughs> okay, you grip your axe a little tighter. Um, the sun, as the sun goes down, you guys all get together for a delicious dinner inside in the dining room. Uh, don't sign to cousin Maureen. After that, you notice she's gotten, she's left apparently. She probably had to walk home, and she wanted probably wants to get home before it's too dark. Gertie's um, disappointed. Oh, she's a spooky ghost. Gertie's disappointed. I You're disappointed. You had started to draw her, but, but you didn't get finished, it. and then she obviously had, you don't see her anywhere. You guys are at the kids' table in the kitchen. Yeah, aw, uh, that's really sad. Uh, are you guys all talking about her? Like, oh, she's gone, what's she gone? I, 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 okay. I didn't mention it. Oh, you didn't mention it. I'm okay. just like looking around. Did you? Like, Did anybody mention it? Are you guys talking about her or just disappointed inside? Okay, that's fine too. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh. You hear some talk about Cousin Marie coming from the dining room. Well, she must have left early. She probably got a long walk. She wants to get home before it gets too dark. Oh, well, that kind of thing. It's going to be cold tonight, too. Maybe there's going to be a frost. Really boring adult conversation. Um, <laughs> um, you guys are in the kitchen and the children's table. Little table all to yourselves. Um, there's plenty of food. Uh, just everything um, you could want. Plus, there's going to be pumpkin pie. There's roast goose. All the fixings. Uh, oh, yeah, pies, pie. cakes, puddings for dessert. Um, mm, I go straight for the pudding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> straight for it. Sure. Alice, is it? Eat your supper first. That's your mom. She's. She I can, like have my hands. She can see like, you guys. Alice. Sorry, dog. Finish your supper and no dessert. You can go to bed before the ghost stories if you don't finish your supper. <laughs> is it banana pudding? Sure. There's some banana pudding. Oh, oh, it's kind of pudding. Scotch pudding. I'm like a and chocolate. Down dinner, whatever. It okay, is. Whatever. It's good. It's really good food. Oh, yeah. There's some vegetables. There's potatoes. There's mashed potatoes. I eat the there's beans, but then I look for a dog. Uh, give me a look check. It doesn't say if Uncle, if Grandpa, I keep saying Uncle Science, if Grandpa had, if Great Grandpa has a dog or not. If Grandpa has a dog. Grandpa has a dog. He's got a really, he's got the, an old bloodhound. I give the dog my, like, vegetables without anybody looking. Okay. <laughs> uh, do me a conceal check. Uh, oh, really? Yeah, I'll see if you get away. Your parents are watching. Right, you're right. right. Conceal's, I think, 15%. It is. <laughs> what if I do? If you make it, that'll be great. Almost. 60, I'll give that to you. I'll give you a little slight bonus. You're only off by one in this case because you've got the table between you and your folks, and you've probably done this a lot before. <laughs> I did it as a kid all the time. All my green beans. All the way are. You guys probably like that. I don't like green like. beans at all. Um, it's a good dinner, and then you guys are given dessert afterwards. you got pudding or cakes or pies. You your parents are letting you. <laughs> Alice, 
Stop. Put it in my dinner. Don't you use your that's just a spoon right there. Fine. Just eat with your spoon, please. And then mom then they're back to their meal. And I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you haven't been feeding it to the dogs, have you? Donald. No way. <laughs> Not me. Alright. Okay, like have some dessert. Have however much you want. There's, it's a party. You guys can, and all your parents are like that. They're very much like you can have whatever you want to eat. Uh, even your wait, did you have a strict father? Who had the strict yeah, father? I had a strict father. Okay. Yeah. Even your father's just like, don't embarrass yourself. No puking, but otherwise you're good. But you can eat as much dessert as you want. You're a good boy. I'm just like, you're a good boy. That's a good pumpkin. Who had good pumpkins? I've forgotten already. No. <laughs> That's right. Edward. Oh, I just. Alice and. Enterprise, Harry and Glory. All right. He said that was a great pumpkin. Great pumpkin. Barkeep. Your dad was real proud of him. Oh, you're Gordy and Gertie. Yeah. Damn. And they're both from Dunwich. Oh. Shoot, I should have had you guys describe yourselves. I totally forgot that. Meh. Is there a physical? <laughs> well, no, there's not really a physical description. So you guys can see the pictures. You wear glasses. I do. Do you have physical description? Oh, you have the blue eyes and stuff going. Yeah, very pale skin, uh, platinum blonde hair, and ice blue eyes. Uh, Ice blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ice blue. It was a lot like Cousin Marine's eyes. Yeah, I don't know anything. I'm a future occultist. I didn't realize oh, yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. I still have my imaginary friend with each other. Right? Yeah, he's, he's like, there. Yeah, he's hanging out. I've, I've been talking to him like a case. Remember, you don't want people to. Well, you tell everybody it's an imaginary friend. Yeah. But you don't. You know it's more than that. Yeah, he's been smelling the meal. When you fed, fed your green beans or whatever to the dog, he's like, oh. You're supposed to eat those. They're good for you, you know? They suck. I know, but they're... De- no, they don't. You didn't even try them. Oh. You didn't even try them. I tried them, them before. They you suck. didn't try your grandpa's? You know, so you get a little lecture on that, because this boy obviously loves food, uh, green beans and all, and all. So, And you have some nice chat. So he's talking to his... He, crazy Donald's talking to his imaginary friend again. I'm like fossil with him. Yeah. No. George is like, Donald, shut up. Why are you always talking to that little fake guy? No, you shut up. No, you shut up. 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 No. <laughs> no, you shut up. I actually believe that you've seen him or something. No. You've seen him always. Yeah, I think I said you both shut up. And I'm like, he just shrugs. I was looking. <laughs> he was. Yeah. <laughs> he was <laughs> yeah, but she doesn't. He didn't get that. Okay, um. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, wow, all three of you shut up. <laughs> he does see it. Saying it the most sarcastic way possible. Does Don even get that? Three. What? Does Don get it? Get what? Sarcastic. Yeah. He's being sarcastic. Completely sarcastic. Okay, okay. Well, fair I enough, like that. Fair enough. Um, like, that? Yeah, yeah. So after dinner, everybody gathers in the living room. The um, judge of this moon, judge of moonshine and this apple and this applejack are being handed around to the adults. Um, pipes are being smoked. Men are dipping some tobacco. I know. Um, the adults are filling the numerous couches, armchairs, rockers, all making like a semicircle around an enormous brick fireplace. You guys are in the middle of the room on pillows. There's a big pile of pillows that you guys are sitting on in the center of the room. Um, Great Grandpa Silas, huh? I'm scared of the fire. Okay. Great Grandpa Silas uh, occupies his favorite rocking chair, and then for several hours, the adults take turns telling telling ghost stories. Um, um, there's been plenty of ghost stories um, from, especially in Dunwich, there's all kinds of crazy stories about Sentinel Hill and things happening there and Table Rock and uh, things that, the little, the boys that died, that died down in the mill right before it went out of business, uh, cut, cut right in half and now there are ghosts in there, hot in the place, that kind of thing. So uh, that's why the mill went out of business. What, Edward? Are there ghosts, are, are, are the ghosts cut in half also? Yes, and their it's guts funny. are hanging out. They were cut long ways. Yes, Edward. I don't. I don't think that. I don't think if their guts were out, that their their that, that their normal body functions would happen the same way. Okay. They're ghosts, how, Edward. How can they walk if they're cut in half? Long because ways? they flop, like weird cut in half spiders. But don't yeah. Those float? Okay, I know. These don't. These don't, don't, they, float. don't, they float? don't. These don't. These don't float. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Do they float down here?